next important question when it comes to hair loss especially in men is can a male pattern hair loss be restored this is very important that you understand the science behind androgenic alopecia or male pattern hair loss one of the by products of testosterone which is called dihydrotestosterone binds to the receptors in the hair follicles which are these receptors are usually present only in the hair from the temporary zone and not from the permanent zone temporary zones includes hair in the front uh, in the crown vertex whereas the hair at the side and the back they are called permanent zone follicles and they are devoid of these receptors therefore dhd's effect on these receptors will not be seen on uh, the permanent zone hairs so when the dhd binds to these receptors they basically uh, through various mechanisms cause denaturation or the degeneration since this is basically genetically preprogrammed it is not possible to reverse this phenomena so far there has been no medication or a treatment identified to reverse a male pattern baldness or androgenic alopecia hair transplant on the other hand is a redistribution of hair from the permanent zone to temporary zone so the answer to your question i have hair back if, I, if it falls because of male pattern yes you can have back your hair back in the areas that you have lost due to male pattern but because of redistribution and not because of regrowth of the hair there is a question asked by many of my clients that is it would, would it have been better if they had approached us earlier yes if you are predisposed or you are experiencing male pattern at a very young age it is better to take supplements and medication to block a dhd's effect on the hair papilla because it is impossible to replace all the hair if someone progresses to grade 7 male pattern baldness what i mean by grade 7 is you would have lost most of the hair in your scalp except for about 4 cm width and about 20 25 cm length of uh, strip at the back now at that stage if you come to us for hair transplant it is impossible to take uh, hair from the back and redistribute uh, to the front and cover the entire area by research and studies it has been shown that the donor uh, area at the back of the uh, scalp can be divided into uh, three distinct zone one is called the safe zone ne- next is the standard zone and then it's the extended zone the grafts that are taken from the safe zone which is the area that i mentioned would be, uh, be present in your scalp even after grade 7 that is about 4 or 2 5 cm of width and about 20 25 cm length or maximum number of grafts that could be taken from this safe zone is about 3000 grafts is what the various studies tell us standard zone this we extend a little more where most of them usually even if they progress to grade 7 the patch at the back may not be that small they might have a standard um, strip which is about 6 cm in width and about 30 uh, cm in length so an additional 1000 graft what i mean by graft is a follicular unit and it's not a single follicle you would have heard people saying that they had 8000 grafts or 10000 grafts but this what i'm telling you are actually the research based evidence with regards to follicles so a safe zone usually yields around 3000 grafts uh, to 3500 and a standard yields around 4000 to 4500 extended zone around 5000 uh, to 5500 grafts maximum from your scalp you can harvest another 1000 1500 graft maximum from your beard area so if someone comes at an early age and we anticipate uh, progress of the male pattern baldness we try and preserve these grafts so we try and take grafts only from the safe zone however if someone comes at the age of 25 and they are already grade 5 then we might have to breach the safe zone and go towards standard or extended zone to harvest enough grafts to give a good density that is why most people actually uh, say that they had good growth after hair transplant for a few years but then uh, they lost some of them at a later stage that's because if the grafts are harvested from standard or the uh, extended zone 
and if that particular patient has progressed to grade 7 male pattern having only a strip of about 4 cm by 20 cm length strip at the back then the grafts harvested from the extended or the standard zone would also fall off from the front.